hello and welcome back to another tips and trick uh, tutorial. So today what we're going to do is create a texture, a leaf texture from scratch. Um, this is going to be a little bit different than the first tutorial because we're not going to be importing a texture from a vanilla Minecraft so much that we're going to actually be creating it. I'm going to be covering how to um, basically make the texture seamless and a few other tips and tricks. So first thing is first and we're going to need a 16 by 16 texture. In uh, paint.net what you can do is go to image and then go canvas size and then go and type in 16 by 16 and uh, you might want to set it to the center. It won't really matter much with a um, a blank canvas but uh, when you do that then it will shrink the image uh, you can use the little plus icon right here or the, the magnifying uh, to zoom in so when you do that you just uh, drag and click and then zoom in like that so with that being said uh, you might want to play around with layers layers are really handy for um, basically working with uh, separate uh, components of an image and it's easier to work with, but just make sure you uh, merge down them like that in order to make it save it as a PNG or it will save it as a paint.net file uh, for a workspace. So uh, we'll be using a layer just to start with. Now for leaf textures, um, this is, we covered a little bit about the, uh, the actual uh, color um, template and stuff that you can use here. So uh, I have some default textures or default colors that we're just going to be using and I'm just going to start drawing with the pencil tool right down here. Uh, you could also use possible but uh, the problem with this is it's transparent textures. If we de disable that you can see that it's transparent. There is a way around that though uh, if you wanted to um, basically make it so it's it doesn't uh, blur the textures what you would go to is this uh, option right up here right next to the solid color and set that to where the boxes are square and then as you can see it's kind of like a um, solid form so if we disable the um, uh, the background as you can see it's a solid form so there are different tools that you can use for making sure that um, the textures work out. The erasing tool is also really good if you need to um, erase certain textures. It makes it transparent rather than trying to fill it in with a background color. If we were to um, basically try using a different color, uh, like say white, if the background's white, then um, of course it helps if I am on the right workspace. So if we do that, and why is that not doing that? That's weird. Usually it would. Um, not sure. Yeah, the transparency is full on that. I don't know. I, I question things quite a bit. Uh, right. So anyhow, with the texture being made, you can play around with the brush if you want to. Uh, what I'm going to do is just kind of design a uh, basic texture. And I want oh that's what's going on uh, primary. So if you, your tech if your paintbrushes don't or your pen or anything like that doesn't work properly, make sure that it's on primary and you can alternate between the two textures here. Uh, if it's on secondary, it will only um, set it to the as background image. So it's important to know it one you're on. So I'm just going to play around with this. Now what I could do is also adjust the um, the actual shading. So if say we didn't want that dark, what we could do is we could just uh, go with a value down here or the shade depending on if you want it brighter or if you want it darker. And I'm just going to drop this down about five, um, five values, uh, five numbers, and it should give a nice texture here. So I'm going to do that a couple times and that should look good for a leaf. So I'm just going to basically copy and paste this. You can hit Control and then C to copy it, just like Windows files. And uh, you can basically move it how you want. Now, if you wanted to do this multiple times, we can actually do something like this. 
and um, we'll just do a whole bunch of different leaves here and we can actually adjust it a little bit later and make it a little bit darker if we wanted to on some of them. So I'm going to do probably right about here and let's move this one here and we'll do one there, maybe a little bit off over here. We want to make sure that down below is uh, matching with this section up here. If we go off the um, actual texture workspace, we want to make sure that it's seamless. So what we would have to do is basically copy, uh, create another one, and then just bring it down here and make sure at the top's there. So with that being said, um, we can actually go to our layer now and we'll select our layer, uh, just the section that we want. So if we go to the selection tool, the rectangular select, and we can just drag that over to where we want it. If we hit control copped and control C, and then we can move or clone basically that section and then we'll move it somewhere over a little bit. Um, you can also do that for all the sides uh, over here and stuff too. So we'll do that. And that looks good so far. Uh, we still need that little piece down here just so it's seamless. And we also need that piece. So that's good. So that should work. Um, if we were to want to test, see if it's seamless, what we want to do is um, merge uh, these temporarily down to the same workspace. Uh, we're going to create a new file, new, and then we're going to create a 32 by 32 texture. And once we are here, I'm just going to basically create a new layer. And we're just going to see if the edges line up well. And we can do that by just doing this and pasting it in on next to each other and as you can see this looks pretty pretty good for an actual texture so we success successfully made a um a leaf texture that we can use in m crater uh, to do that uh, because leaves are transparent i'm just going to un uh, compress those um, two files that we had or layers and then I'm going to remove the bottom one so it's transparent. You can tell it's transparent because it has this little grid behind the actual pixels. So once that's done uh, what we can do is we can go file, save as and then we can save this to our desktop as leaf uh, 2 so or whatever texture name that you want to call it. And I'm just going to make sure it saves it to other uh, use that as a leaf texture if we want to. So hopefully that helps with a little bit. Um, now there are a whole bunch of different ways of making uh, seamless textures. Um, I found that there's tons of different tutorials on the internet that you can actually follow, but um, the easiest way is just kind of working on the edges, making sure that um, bring it into a, a 32 by 32 um, workspace and just making sure that it's seamless and doesn't tile proper like tile if by tiling um there is a little bit uh say if we were to do this um this would actually tile it so as you can see that this texture now tiles like um you know like a like floor tiles or something like that. It's not the best for textures if you're working with a small 32 by 32, unless you're going for that look. So if you are going for that look, then okay, that's fine. But um, for something like leaves or something that is uh, more organic, um, you probably want to avoid uh, textures with uh, lines that are on the edge. You kind of want to merge them in together so they look like they're part of the same thing like we did here. Uh, to fix that, uh, what you could do is if it was too much on, say, this side, say this texture wasn't here, and if we paste that in, as you can see that this little part here is missing on this part, you would just basically fix that within your actual texture. You would basically copy this and paste this in over here 
on your 32 by 32 and then you would just basically copy your 16 by 60. Make sure that you select the, as you can see here down at the bottom, it says 16 by 16. So we would copy that version, we would move it over to here and then it's fixed. So hopefully that uh, helped you guys create your own textures. Uh, Paint.net is great for beginners and um, isn't complex, great for Minecraft uh, textures and stuff like that. And um, hopefully you guys uh, will be with me for the next tutorial and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.